this is his number two boxing and um I'm here speaking to one of the suits, one of the guys, <laughs> the, the important guys behind the scenes that people like my audience don't know. So for those, those, those that don't know you, what's your name and what do you do? Sure, I'm Brad Jacobs, the Chief Operating Officer for Top Rank, the promoter of uh, Vasily Lomachenko. Okay, and um, you're part of um, ESPN as well, is that the... Sure, of course, yeah. ESPN does all of our events in the United States and will be yes. covering this event as well. Okay. Um, how much chance, because I asked Usyk and I was like, What's the chances um, uh, Lomachenko has? What sort of challenge does he feel he has against um, uh, Luke, Luke Campbell? Well, I think you know he clearly stated in the press conference mm -hmm. that uh, you know the, the height of Luke can uh, be a challenge. His amateur experience is a challenge. So uh, I think he looks at all that and, uh, and understands what's ahead of him on August 31st. Yeah. You're uh, you, you quite friendly in the, with your response because Usyk was like, why don't you ask me the question? The chances <laughs> Luke Campbell has against him, and, um, <laughs> and I, I had to rechange the question and ask him that sort of question. But um, do you believe Luke Lomachenko is the best pound for pound in the world? I certainly do. I mean, you know, if you just look at his history, look at his amateur history, yeah. look at his professional history, what he's done against who he's done it. I mean, it's it's hard to argue against him being number one fighter in the world and uh, you know he, he'll he'll prove that in front of the local audience uh, on August 31st Terence Crawford yeah absolutely I mean they're neck and neck I mean, it's incredible <laughs> I mean you know we're so lucky to be involved with both guys and uh, uh, it, it could be whatever day of the week yeah. and you, you know one guy is one guy you know it's it's a matter of opinion okay. do you know much about um, the ESPN involvement with the, um, the MTK shows going on yeah, in absolutely. the UK. Yeah, absolutely. Um, why is that? Why have you guys got involved with the UK? We, we just, you know, uh, we're looking to bring um, boxing from all over the world to the United States on ESPN. Uh, MTK does a series of shows. We do shows with Frank Warren here. We bring shows from Asia, Australia, all over the world. We're bringing events in, and uh, you know, some are terrific. Some are what they are yeah you know but uh we, we just want to be able to show the u.s fans all the different uh athletes that are up and coming uh in the world you guys seem to have been um like woken up from your slumber is it who's the reason for that is that eddie helm with his disown deal you know because no, I, don't, I don't think i i wouldn't classify as waking up from a slumber I, we've been in the business 50 plus years yeah and the business has its ebbs and flows, yeah. and we decided a couple of years ago that we needed to be on a larger platform yeah. and, and have everyone have the ability to see our product in one place. Yeah. And that's why we made a deal with ESPN, we have ESPN, ESPN Plus, and we do pay-per-view events with ESPN and, and all the uh, ancillary things that they bring to the table with shoulder programming and uh, being on Sports Center, which is their large news program. So uh, all those things, uh, and the sheer number of people that they reach, uh, you know, it, it doesn't get bigger in the U.S. Because yeah. I've noticed a, a little bit of pattern because Matchroom and Dizon, they've got their, they've got their um, Mex um, Matchroom Mexico, mm -hmm. Matchroom Italy, Matchroom, obviously they've come to America as well. Right. And now ESPN are doing their bits, they're in Kazakhstan, right. you know, <laughs> and in London. So yeah. I just thought, okay. This is more of a corporate warfare. Yeah, well, I mean, no, no, not at all. It, I mean, look, it's a global sport. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a season. It's ongoing all year. Yeah. And it, things are, ha you know, we, we would be wrong to believe that things are only happening in the United States. You can just see a huge event coming here in London in August. So uh, we want to be where all the events are happening, not only in our backyard. Did you watch the Theofimo fight? Is last Which fight was that? Is that um, fight over the weekend, Theofimo? Yeah, uh, no, I didn't get to see because I was on the plane coming <laughs> yes. here. Yeah. Okay, so, um, all right, so I can't actually talk yeah, much yeah, about yeah. that. So he's really trying to aim for that Lumachenko, provided he wins against Campbell. How uh, absolutely. You, you know, let's talk about fantasy matchup. How do you see that fight going? I mean, look, you know, I, I think it may be a little soon for Tiafimo. You know, he just went the distance with a tough guy. I think he needs a little bit of that, but he's also an extraordinary fighter. So uh, I think by the time he would get to a, a Lomachenko showdown, he'd be ready. Okay. Well, Brad, thanks for your time. Anything yeah. else you want to... No, I'm just uh, thrilled to be here and yes. looking forward to August 31st. How have we treated you so yeah, far? Yeah, sensationally, London? as yeah. always. Oh, thank you yeah, very yeah, much, yeah, sir. Thank and you. all the best.